Oh, Jesus Christ. That was really telling us. I'll feel very, very bad. I was here, Mamma Quaba. I brought you out of that screen. Is a friend of James Lutrotly. I was here. Will be a poison. I'm a branchiano. I heard him quite ya 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 ya. Now, I'll be very James. You want to wine? James, I am branchy beer. Over Kai 2021. Science and mass quiz. Omo and a day. Keta SHS uh, from voter region. Eba ya be drew final. Na oni ababa webi. Ene chesa branch ebi neja. Wamu tuto mwa be drew finals. Ema branch ebi no chesa. Yesi ye ka omai gan emu padi ya. Wabong uma ye pa 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 pa. Oni ma die. Na abeto jase a branch ebi. Wunya scholarship pa. Enka obe ko abruchi memu. Akwa kwa tuwa na disu ya so. Na owo li gong. Emna o nya scholarship na pe. Weye nsema nkwa fwa ki kyo. E ena wobi ya sheda poison ya branti. Ama na hirene mkwa ya ya ya. Ebi mwuzo se. Ayi wakwa kwa 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 Edi ni njina anu, e bro. Bada anu sana anu, njibu ko na fi anu, ya kwa kwa he this video, a a branchi anu, e chile ni suwadi hunu, a a wo, e wa abrabo imu, o kana chese, na chasi ye, bebi ya wo fri, e ni bebi ya nyambide na babe dru, abu jina, a a tu mini ni siyo, a yi, ma sun pa 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 pa, wa a shi a branchi o da shkri ni siyo, ne ne hon fe, na e ni pa da shani na se, wa wa jene mkwa fri ni sa wo, I said, I was going to hear this video. I was going video. I see. here. We are here. We are here. We are video. So I'm here today uh, with James. Uh, and I'll let James introduce himself. I'm sure we all will recognize him one way or the other. But uh, do a good. James, thank you very much for being with us. Um, welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you tell us your name and then a little bit about yourself and what you are studying. So you can shout. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm James. I'm James Lutrot, and I'm currently in University of Ghana studying computer science. Yes. All right. So you were telling us a bit about yourself, um, where you where you stay now, where you went to school, you were in Keta School, and how the experience at Keta School like. So um, I live in Tema, but I went to school in Keta Keta School, and it was a nice experience. I I eventually was selected to represent them at the national level. National Science and Math Games, yes. So how was it? How was it like participating in the National Science and Math Games? Now you really have to scream. How was it like? How was the experience like? It was a lot of um, fun and excitement, and we had to work hard behind the scenes before coming to stage in order to represent the school. I mean, you are representing the whole school, so you have to work very, very hard in order to send your school to a high stage. Yes, and, and SMQ gave me a lot of um, lessons. And let me say, it gave me a lot of exposure. So first of all, it gave me exposure to the crowd, how to manage crowd and all that. And also gave me exposure to the media. That was after NSMQ. So we had all the interviews and that we went for. Yeah, it gave me a lot of media exposure. Okay. So what are you studying now and how is it like? Um, I'm studying computer science. And it's a very cool course, but quite stressful uh-huh and you know when i was a kid i was quite familiar with um, the computer so growing up i developed passion for it and it's um it informed on my decision to come and do computer science in the university so how is university life like please speak a bit um university life is cool and um, it's also a lot of fun and here because um of NSMQ, I had to study ahead of my mates back in SHS. So coming here, um, studying has been a lot easier. So um, I know some of the things ahead before the electricity. So it's it's quite okay. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, your friends who competed, where are they now? Okay, so um, Bright is in Tech, that's KNUST, and Francisca was here, but she had an admission to um, Harvard. So she will be going out to study um, pre-medicine. Pre okay. It's in Harvard. Okay. Yeah, so what is your story? And when I say what is your story, I'll break it down. Um, how did you get into Keta school? Which GHS were you? 
in Qatar school? How did you get to become part of the team? What what is what is the is the story behind James's uh, rise to the finals? So actually, it has um, it has always been my dream to win the NSMQ. So I got into NSMQ when I was in junior high school. So I I was I started watching contests and a contest which made me uh, make my decision was a contest between Adisco and um, St. Peter's. It was Adisco. So Adisco were performing really well 2018 in the NSMQ. So it informed my decision to partake in NSMQ and also win it. But unfortunately, Adisco didn't win it that year. Uh -huh. But they really performed well. So from there, so I went to um, Newland Schools in Ashaiman. So from there, and I went to Keta Sina High Technical School. So I was still carrying that dream. So eventually I was selected into the team and I had to work hard to make my dream possible. And I was um, selected to represent my school. And we worked hard to reach the finals. But unfortunately, we couldn't um, win it. Uh, but it's, it's still my desire for my predecessors to also win it for me. Yes. You mean those who come after you? Yes. Those who come after me to win it for our school. Yes. So your successes? Yes. Those who come up here? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes, my successes. Yes. 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 So, um, uh, the the how how difficult is it and did you did you did you did you face any challenges um in terms of learning people normally will ask like learning for nsmq and other things how difficult was it did you face any challenges in terms of learning i didn't really face any challenge yes i didn't face any challenge but in terms of let say support uh-huh that was where the challenge was but it was okay and learning was okay Yes. Um, people always want me to ask you about learning strategies. Yeah, I don't know. I think everybody has their personal learning strategies. But I don't know. That's something folks are interested in, especially at the comments button, especially those coming after you. Yeah. So any, any, anything you want to share? So for me, I think um, what the key thing is um, having a passion. Having a passion for the NSMQ. With that, I think you are good to go. You can adopt any learning strategy. But when you have the passion, you, you do fine. Yes, you do fine. What about general learning for WASI and other things? How, how did you do that? Something like that. Yes, and also you need to learn, like you, you need to know why you are learning. You just can't start learning. You need to know why you are learning. And yeah, you, you need to learn hard, very, very hard for NSMQ. But for on WASI level, just know why you are learning and then look at the questions that were asked previously and then know where and where to learn yes and i think you you'll be good to go if you adopt that strategy all right fantastic. so um nsmq has been on for a very long time and some uh, recently some um schools were saying they may not be able to compete they may not be able to get the support how will you feel if such a competition um doesn't come on um, I'll feel very, very bad, and to me, it won't be a disadvantage, but it will be a disadvantage to both NSMQ and the contestants. Because as I said, NSMQ gave me a lot of exposure, and it taught me a lot of lessons too. I got to interact with other contestants, and I got to know a lot of things. And I think it will be a disadvantage to the contestants who were supposed to contest, mm -hmm. who are supposed to contest. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then on a part of NSMQ too, I think um, every year, year in year, as years go by, they get sponsors, mm -hmm. and so cutting off NSMQ, they might lose sponsors. Yes, okay. they might lose sponsors. Yes, okay. that's what I think. Okay. I think one thing that I would people I would like to ask you, and I'm sure a lot of people would like to know, is what worked for Keta last year. What made you so brilliant? You know, the whole country, the whole country was so you know uh, uh, taken in by what you did. I mean, how, how, how did you do it? Um, it was consistency. You know, we started going to the semi-finals, not just, um, let's say, two years ago, but we were going to the semi-finals for some time. So it was time we went to the finals. And it was also due to hard work. And it was just a normal year for us that you had to go a little bit higher, uh -huh, go the extra mile, and have to reach the finals. Yes. All right. So, um, what are your future ambitions? What do you want to do with this degree? Um, 
I would like to be um, a computer scientist and um, a web uh, designer and then also graphic design, like full stack web design and graphic design. And I also have plans in um, going to cryptocurrency. Right. That's blockchain technology. And I think that technology is crazy. That's what is going to take over the world in like the next 10 years or something. So I'm going to blockchain te technology to yes. And eventually I'll become a businessman. Yeah. Nice one. You need, you need some of those billions as well, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So um, now uh, we get into the end of this. Uh, but do you have any advice for the younger generation who might be watching you and are inspired by you? Yeah, I think this just for me, I, I think following your dream, I believe in following your dream. Never give up on your dreams and always think of your dream and that, that will help you to move higher. And most important, you have to keep God first. I'll feel very, very bad and... To me, it won't be a disadvantage, but it will be a disadvantage to both NSMQ and the contestants. Because as I said, NSMQ gave me a lot of exposure and it taught me a lot of lessons too. I got to interact with other contestants and I got to know a lot of things. And I think it will be a disadvantage to the contestants who were supposed to contest. Mm -hmm. who are supposed to contest. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then on a the part of NSMQ too, I think um, every year, year in year, as years go by, they get sponsors. Mm -hmm. And so, cutting off an SMQ, they might lose sponsors. Yes, they might lose sponsors. Yes. That's what I think. I think one thing that I would, people, I would like to ask you, and I'm sure a lot of people would like to know is, what worked for Keta last year? What made you so brilliant? You know, the whole country, the whole country was so, you know, uh, uh, taken in by what you did. I mean, how, how, how did you do it? Um, it was consistency you no know, we started going to the semi-finals not just um let's say two years ago but we were going to the semi-finals for some time so it was time we went to the finals and it was also due to hard work and it was just a normal year for us that you had to go a little bit higher and uh -huh, go the extra mile now to reach the finals yes all right so um what are your future ambitions? What do you want to do with this degree? Um, I would like to be um, a computer scientist and um, a web uh, designer and then also graphic design, like full stack web design and graphic design. And I also have plans in um, going to cryptocurrency. Right. That's blockchain technology. And I think that technology is crazy. That's what is going to take over the world in like the next 10 years or something. So I'm going to blockchain te technology to yes. And eventually, I'll become a businessman. Yeah. Nice one. You need, you need some of those billions as well, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, now uh, we're getting to the end of this. Uh, but do you have any advice for the younger generation who might be watching you and are inspired by you? Yeah, I think this just... For me, I, I think following your dream. I believe in following your dream. Never give up on your dreams and always think of your dream and that, that will help you to move higher. And most important, you have to keep God first. Yeah, keep God first. All right. What, what motivates you? What inspires you? What's your secret? <laughs> first of all, my secret, um, my secret is my parents. I have to work hard for my parents because they brought me into this world and I have to make them proud. And then I also, also have to make myself proud. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us. Before we go, I just wanted, I wanted to ask you, do you have anything um, you wanted to tell your fans or those watching? Uh, um, anything you want to say? Um, first of all, thank God Almighty for being here to um, And I also thank all the fans that have been supporting Kita School and have also been supporting me and my other colleagues. And I've also been following, those who have also been following NSMQ, we also thank them very, very much. And then, uh, if you want to link up with me, you can just follow any of my social media accounts, James Richards, just like James Richards, and find me. Yes. Okay, say the name again so that they can, a little slowly, so that they can go and find you. James Richards. Okay. Uh, L U T T R O B T. Okay. James Richards. Oh, I'm here. 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 Eh, 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 eh,
Onyankopon e mani baby panda. E, ni sonu en rest in peace. Na debi debi. Yebe shiem. Abranti eni so adi unu nina inti miya mamu. Abu shunya. Adia unu nina anu. Ode ko. Eji dani den nina bisa se ni pakura anu. Yeye den. Eni se ni pada se ni. Ene se da ji abranti yi mko firi ni se mwa. E diye be na ubi nya. Uji firi ni se mwa. Adiye na uni mwa. Ya ji e de amaw. Abu shunya. Mwa yen shi yifun yi. E wo na mfu mu, wabu siye mu, bebi ye wo biyano, ya nshe ye hunsu ye. Na ye hunse, ye ni nyame nkwane na mu. Se e e ye ni nkrabi ya nsu na odiko ya, nyangu pon enfane krano, e e nsi ye ye na omani bebi pa. E na abranti, se do si jina hui, uti mu se, oba ye very good. E ti, yampa ye ni se, nyangu pon enfano, e nsi ye ye. E si ye no, e train doctor's reporter, omani bebi ba. Na fino ye hun se Abranti ye no obi Ene ye ni sa Ana se E ye onuan ka sa Ena che se E bi ya O ki kenu ya ni bu mwa E koko ye Poison sa E ko ni ni pe duye mwa Ye di mwa si Ena wye ha mi kasa na bafo mwa Ma boto Me rwe nsu a ho E di ye di mwa si ya Mi ba cho subscribe Na wansu drop yo comment O comment session on afi share video yi Ema unye nye bin share Wansu ya Ye besen share Share